Hello, my name's John Hain. Go by Johnny Hain on YouTube. And I'm going to show you how to build an $8 airplane. First, you need foam board. One piece of foam board. It's uh, 30 by 20, I think, something like that. You need some rolls of tape. Now, this is special tape. This is packing tape. It's real, real thin. Most of the packing tape you see is clear, but you can get colored plat packing tape from uh, your hobby shop or from uh, some of the craft stores. And I have one roll of duct tape. This is heavy. You don't use that for much except I put it around the edges. You need two strips of hot glue and a motor mount of some kind. You can use this one if you cut it. Or this one's just a piece of metal. You make an L bend in it. Or you might have something like this laying around that's a, uh, a stick mount for a deal. So that's going to be your airplane. I'll show you how it works in a minute. And these are the tools you're going to need. You need a short ruler, a T-square, I have a long ruler there. Brand new blade, gotta have a new blade because if not the foam will catch. And a hot glue gun. That's it for tools that you need. Now I'm going to show you how to start building your airplane. Okay, now we're going to start laying out our airplane. First thing you do is from the edges you come in to the center which is 15 inches and you mark it there then you mark it one inch that way and one inch that way from the center then you go down to the end of your board and you measure from here up four inches and from here over four inches and that's why you need your t-square is to make that mark right there Now that basically is your airplane. Here's your 4x4 four four here, your 1x1 two two, one one over there, and your 4x4 four four over here. The only other thing we have to do is put our ailerons in, and our ailerons are 1 inch across the bottom here. Now I only have about 1 inch aileron on it or alevons is what they're going to end up being. You can put more in, but it's going to be really tricky because this thing's going to move. It's going to probably move between 40 and 70 miles an hour depending on the, the motor you put on it. Okay, let me show you what happens from here. Okay, so what we did now is we went in the one inch up here down to the four inches down here and we made a cut. And we made a cut this way. So now this is what your airplane looks like. Next, we cover it. I'll show you how we do that. Okay, I'm layering, layering this with uh, packing tape. Only it's colored packing tape. Uh, you can get it at the hobby shops. I don't know where else you can get it. What you do is you lay it down and you overlap slightly. Lay it down, get your credit card out, and smooth it. And as you move it along, it should take almost all your bubbles out and lay nice and flat. And you do different colors on the top and the bottom. Sometimes I paint one of these and then use clear packing tape because you can get packing tape every place, so clear ones. Everybody's got that. 
And that way you have different colors on the top of your airplane and on the bottom. And since these are combat airplanes, you don't have to be too particular because sometimes they don't last very long. Got a bubble there. So you get your little knife, poke a little hole in the bubble, and go over it with your card, and the bubble disappears. Okay, once it's together and you have all the stuff on it, Red on one side, black on the other. Now we use duct tape. Duct tape because it's so strong. And we're going to use it to protect our edges. And all we do with it is lay it down the side halfway on and fold it over. Now you have an edge that looks like that. And you do it all the way around. This is what it looks like after you have the trim on. Now we're ready. We've marked up the four inches. Put our square in. Get our knife out. And make our cut. You don't want to cut all the way through, but you want to make your cut right on top. And then you peel this side up. Because when you cut your V, this will actually go over the top and make a real nice seal. So now we'll make a V set shaped cut in there to take out the foam and fold this up for your rudder. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the board that we cut off of here. Put it right here, measure in one inch, and cut it this way. We're going to do it this one on this side, and then cut it off the bottom here. Show you in a minute. Now we're getting ready to glue. I start with the center tabs here.
เย่าช่อนเดี๋ยวเราเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคลื่อนเคโอเคพอคุณเสร็จการคัดคุณก็ต้องบิดให้ถูกต้องคุณทำอย่างนี้ที่นี่คุณจะบิดมันบิดบางคนใช้ไม้ซันบางคนใช้ไม้ซันบางคนใช้ไม้ซันบางคนใช้ไม้ซันบางคนใช้ไม้ซันบางคนใช้ไม้ซันบางคนใช้ไม้ซันบางคนใช้ไม้ซันบางคน What we've done is we've cut the tapered these in now, tapered them there, and that's our hinge. So that's the top, and that's the bottom. So now we have elevons. This is your finished product. You put a motor mount on here. All I used was a right-angle piece of metal. Some people use the uh, stick motor mounts, but anything to hold your motor on. I put control horns in there. Two servos here, the receiver, the speed control, and a place for the battery. Now this actually will balance right about here. This is your point of balance. It can use anywhere from about a 1,300 battery all the way up to 2,200, depending on the length of time you want to fly. Most of the airplanes don't have a landing gear because you can take off this way with a good motor. It'll go straight on up. Or some people put a landing gear on it. I used to put just one wheel here. And use the two ends as skids, but you really don't need a motor mount. Isn't that pretty? I like that. I got that at Joann's. Really kind of a neat program. But that's your airplane, all complete and ready to go. So put her together and let's go fly some combat. You put a hole right here, two foot of string, and about a 25 foot crate paper streamer. There's your airplane. Let's go fly.